Hi, it's Bino Caro. You can call me Angela, and welcome back to StarCraft 2. Um, you can probably hear that Isha is getting a little impatient here. So, uh, we're as you can see, we're back to the Zerg uh, campaign. I'll pay the price for my choices. And I'm really but excited to finally have the chance to continue on our little Zerg adventure. Hello, Al, and hello, Manager Bunny. Thank you for the Slurp and Posture Redeem. I will hydrate. <laughs> As you remember last from last time, we finished the planet on Char. We finished all the Char missions. Oh, you saw my comment on... Yeah, that comment got a hell of upvotes, so... Oh. D don't that ship look familiar? <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, if you remember correctly... Oh, all right here, cutscene. Hi. <laughs> she just immediately throws hands with him. He hasn't even fucking done anything yet and she's ready to kill him. What do you want? Believe. <laughs> Kerrigan, I have been to the beginning. <laughs> Behold, Zeras. Birthplace of the Zerg. Here the Zerg evolved. And here the Dark One altered them. Those left behind are the primal Zerg. Not exactly how evolution works, but that's not important. Just as you must, if you survive. <laughs> I still find it funny that Zeratul just didn't even bother fighting back, just because he needed to, he needed to grapple her in order to give that message, so he just didn't bother fighting back. <laughs> it should work that way. All right, so. Uh, just like last time, we chose a planet and we did three missions there. This time, we have another choice of three, uh, two planets, each with three missions. We have Kaldir, where we'll fight uh, Protoss. And we have Zerus, where we'll encounter the primal Zergs. Is there any uh, preference to who you want to fight? <laughs> God, I'm so excited. There's so many good missions coming up. On both planets, really. Both planets have some pretty exciting missions, so. <laughs> Protoss sounds fun. Alright, the, the easiest thing? The easiest thing. That would actually, that would be Kaldir, because Kaldir is one of the first planets you can choose. So that's... Nafash, a broodmother, took part of the swarm <laughs> to the frozen moon Calder where she is fighting a Protoss expedition. Nefash's brood had many highly evolved creatures. To reunite the swarm, you will need those adaptations. <laughs> we'll get roaches and we'll get hydralisks, so... This is exciting. Let's get some roaches and hydralisks. I'm like bouncing in my seat, I'm so excited. I'm so glad to be streaming this game again. 
I'm also excited just because like just before the stream I was working on a new mod for Victoria 3 so working on a mod has also gotten me excited <laughs> would you look at this planet I cannot detect the Dark Templar is he hidden on the Leviathan waiting to strike he's gone whatever agenda he's pursuing he's not a threat to me not right now at least isn't anything not Zerg a threat to us? <laughs> Do not question me, Isha. As you say, my queen. <laughs> is anything not a Zerg a threat to us? Isha is such a good maid. It's ridiculous. You have said you wish revenge on the leader of the Terrans, but there are no Terrans on this moon. Nafasha's brood has valuable adaptations. I need them to strengthen the swarm so that I can take down Minsk. Surely my brood alone could defeat his forces. Terrans are weak. <laughs> Isn't that what you thought about me? Zagara's got confidence. I'll give you that. The scouts report that Nafash set up a hive on this plane, but abandoned it shortly after. She moved off into those ice valleys. That must be where the Protoss are. Look at that giant frozen hatchery. That's so cool. I imagine any Zerg that was living in there is probably like frozen by now. Like popsicles. Nafash moved her brood into these ice valleys to fight the Protoss. It is unknown if she will join you willingly. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, these things are huge. Like, look at that. Oh my god, I wish, I wish we can see like in scale, uh, like to scale models like that would be so cool like this thing is like shaping the landscape <laughs> dirt trick aliens I said that's so true this moon has pockets of intense cold called flash freeze storms one such storm is approaching it will push temperatures down so fast that almost all thermal energy will be lost. The storm will pass quickly, but while it is here, your troops will be frozen in place. I can sense indigenous creatures nearby. Their matriarchs have powerful essence, strong enough to help us adapt to this cold. Yeah, look at our little zerglings. Yes. Oh yeah, they have the uh, attack speed upgrade. I have to find an Ursodon matriarch and get her essence. <laughs> That's get weird. Going. But you yeah, know, it's it's funny in the, in this Push expansion. This world is <laughs> instant kill. In this expansion, this the Terrans are like crazy strong. They have like Nothing's the biggest war way. machines you've ever fucking seen. This zerg is feral. It is not under the control of any higher entity. <laughs> so this is the Roach. The Roach is a uh, armored Zerg with pretty bulky stats, honestly. 120 HP is no joke. And a pretty good attack, too. 16 damage at 4 range. And their specialty is that when they're burrowed, they can regenerate very quickly. Which means uh, when they're out of combat, they can recover HP very fast. Let's get this over with. There's not much time. Get going. Another feral roach. Something is very wrong. Nothing stands in my way. The swarm never rests. The flash freeze is near. I just have to find an Ursodon matriarch. Let's get this over with. Hi, Roach. The swarm never oh, rests. never mind. We're frozen. The flash freeze has arrived. <laughs> Your troops are frozen. These Ursodon, led by Matriarch, strong essence. Once local essence assimilated, swarm will resist flash freeze. Quickly. The flash freeze is ending. Essence assimilated. <laughs> Swarm resistant to flash freeze. Excellent. And now I can sense Nefasha's hive cluster nearby. 
Injured roaches able to burrow, regain health. Get going. Well, they're dead. Let's get this over with. Nefasha's brood. The Protoss must have wiped them out. I'll awaken this hive cluster for the swarm. God, look at all that ice. It's just like that level in uh, Warcraft the 3. Protoss sense the awakening. They are aware of our presence. The Queen of Blades. What has happened to you? <laughs> Frail and human. <laughs> That's rude. Protoss, I wondered when you'd show yourselves. We must inform Shakuras. They will send the Golden Armada. They will destroy you. Isha, tell me the Protoss are out of range of Shakuras. They are, my queen. However, the Protoss have silent spires that can amplify their psionic communication. Then we destroy those spires before the Protoss can activate them. God, look at those colossi. They are a force to be reckoned with. But so are we. The swarm hungers. We have roaches. Additional matriarch essence nearby. If collected, swarm can become more efficient in flash freeze. Ah, oh, poggers. I do like an efficient swarm. If I have a chance, I will hunt down some matriarchs. <laughs> Isha probably should have led with- That's true, it's kind of funny that she just neglected to mention that. Speak quick. Out with it. Nothing stands in my way. Oh, that's Protoss. The swarm never rests. Brave Protoss, slow her down. Take the fight to her. Minerals. Slow her down? Get going. He didn't say kill her or stop her. She's, he said slow her down. Did he not have confidence that she would? They would succeed. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the first attack. Flash breeze approaching. The Protoss will be vulnerable until it passes. The Protoss are defenseless. Attack now. The Protoss really did not plan their uh, attack very well. They they really did not plan their attack well. Get going. <laughs> no, but actually, <laughs> yeah, no, it it is really funny that he he was actually very realistic about their attention. odds of actually defeating Kerrigan. <laughs> Slow her instead of stop her. <laughs> But yeah, during flash freezes, Nothing you have just free reign to attack, which is really amusing. That the Protoss didn't plan for this to happen, even though they've been here for a while. Flash freeze now ending. <laughs> so low expectations. <laughs> Alright, we need more Zergs. Drones. Alright, B, B. Uh, we need a layer. We need a. Uh... One down. Even if you destroy our spires, we will get word to Shakuras. Isha, drop a hatchery at this location. I need the swarm. You can just do that? You can just do that? What? Why have you not been doing that this whole time? What the hell? Who asked you? You can just drop a hatchery? That's so OP. Oh, jeez. Flash freeze storm approaching soon. Yes? Speak quickly. <laughs> Flash freeze storm has arrived. Yippee. Press our advantage. Destroy the Protoss. 
You have my attention. Well, first I would have to know where they are. This world is mine. I should also do the bonus objective too when I have the chance. Oh, ah, here's the Urzadons. This is the bonus objective. Get going. Oh. There's no much time. Swarm oh, we got extra roaches here. Cool. Push ahead. Eto. Fuck. Fine, I'll get more overlords. Ah, there's the Protoss. Oh, jeez, there's also Ursodons. Uh, pull back. We're not gonna fuck with the Ursodons. Nothing stands in my way. They can. The Protoss can take care of the Ursodons for us. Who asked you? Are they really following me? Okay, no, they're going back. Flash freeze now ending. All right, uh, drones. Uh, you guys go there. You go there. Okay. Let's get another hatchery going. Uh, and then let's get an evolution pit. And, uh... All right. Who asked you? Oh, wow, those Zerglings really do birth fast. That was, like, instant. Yeah, no, they won't. Flash freeze will be here soon. You have my attention. Let's get okay, let's go do our bonus objective. I There's don't. Not I, I'm not under a time limit, so I don't have to kill the Protoss really fast. Ooh, resource. More resource. Nothing stands. A flash has they give you a day of free premium. The Protoss are defenseless. Attack now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Not kind of it. weird, huh? Get going. <laughs> Hell yeah. Visibility during flash freeze increased. Oh fuck yeah. Man, I haven't used Duolingo in so long. It's weird to think yes. about how long since I've been. Since I've been, since it's been, since I've used it. Ooh, this is Nafasha's corpse. Oh wow, look at that. Zerg corpse. Her frozen bot wounds bear the telltale marks of psionic blades. The brave Protoss warriors managed with. to destroy Nafasha. Huh? Stands in mind. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's retreat. Who asked you? Speak quick. For Japanese. Oh, they might add in micro lessons? Huh. Yeah, no, Nafash is actually pretty huge. That's a that's a pretty cool detail. Oh wait, I forgot. I'm build uh, I built evolution uh Chambers and I just did not get my upgrades. <laughs> the swarm never rests. I've completely forgot to get my upgrades. <laughs> okay, let's go find the other bonus objective. Push ahead. Micro lessons with your micro. <laughs> There's not much time. That's a. Uh... Kind of a weird model, huh? Never heard of... I mean, I guess it makes sense if you just need a quick tutorial, but... That's fine. We'll be fine. Let's pull back for a second. Get going. 
The Protoss forces are now frozen. I want to fight the Ursodons. There's not much time. There we go. There's the last matriarch. Matriarch essence assimilated. <laughs> Swarm perfectly adapted to fight in flash freeze storms. Hell yeah. We got all the bonus objectives. That's kill the shit out of them. Oh right, I forgot our uh, our hatcheries regenerate zerglings when they die. I forgot that that's a bonus we have, and that's why we have so many fucking zerglings. Our zerglings don't die ever. Flash freeze storm is fading. Get going. Yes. Uh, micro lessons is okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. One character at a time. Ah, oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. So they're more like quick reviews then, essentially. Who asked you? There, we blew up the thing. One more left. It's no use, Caravan. Shakulus will destroy you. Oh wow, I literally I'm over the pop cap, I just realized. I literally cannot produce any more units. Are they gonna blow up this hatchery? That's gonna be annoying. Oh, never mind. Reinforcements have arrived. Our forces are under attack. We're good. Can we get some, uh... Let's get some banelings. Just for the shits and giggles. Unacceptable command. Flash freeze coming in soon. <laughs> yes? I got my banelings. Hehehehe. <laughs> I love what is it now? Swarm hungers. <laughs> Reviewing mistakes is a separate thing. That require. Why is that? Speak what the? Quickly. What in the world? Push ahead. Is Who that model? <laughs> a flash freeze storm has hit. A six-year. Out with it. Wow, that's pretty decent, though. Let's get. The you have my attention. All right, let's attack. Man, I haven't used Duolingo in so long, not gonna lie. I'm just really bad at keeping up with data dailies like that. Let's see. Upgrade. Flash freeze is passing. That's fine. We should wait for a flash freeze before attacking this heavily fortified location. Isha, we're fine. Colossi do not counter roaches because Colossi are anti uh, infantry, not anti armor. Quickly loads up on Zerglings. The swarm never rests. Have my attention. This Destroy it. Now kill. We did it. Get going. The spires have fallen. Retreat. <laughs> the Protoss expedition will be unable to contact Shakuras. Now they have to deal with us. <laughs> is so funny. <laughs> uh, my language study these days, I mostly just study on my own, honestly. I'm studying for the JLPT test right now, so I just go through the study book on my own. Outside of that, I mainly just go through everyday life. <laughs> Use Japanese in practical uh, scenarios and stuff. <laughs> we captured a prisoner in the wastes and subdued her, my queen. She says she is a researcher. I didn't order you to take prisoners. Abathur requested it. He wants to dissect her. 
What's the point? He won't be able to use Protoss genetic material. He likes to try. Actually, keep her alive for now. I might find a use for her. <laughs> you have awakened new abilities, my queen. If you wish, you can activate them now. <laughs> it's kind of funny that, like, Isha is just like, yeah, we're just keeping this Protoss wrapped up in tentacles. It's fine. I will keep the prisoner under close watch, my queen. What are your people doing here? We study this moon to see if its rotation can be altered, its climate improved. Do you understand? We are only colonists, and you are killing us. Yes, and if I let you live, you'll call your golden armada and they will kill me. Kill thousands to save yourself. Is that how you justify this? I justify nothing. There is no moral high ground here. Your people have killed billions of Zerg. We are all covered in blood. There may be more on my hands than yours, but in the end, we are both killers. <laughs> Nefash's brood lives again within the swarm. When the Protoss struck, she fell back to prepared positions in the ice valleys. The Protoss had to hunt her down. She was intelligent, careful, and tenacious, but she made one mistake. She ran away. I have always wished to feel Protoss bones snapping in my claws. May I? No, Zagara. Surely you do not think to show mercy? Violence is a tool. I use it when I have to, but a leader uses the right tool for the job. This is a Terran way to think. <laughs> the Zerg do not use tools at all. To a leader, everything and everybody is a tool. Man, imagine being the Protoss kept prisoner on the Zerg ship and just hearing all this Zerg conversation. That's a bot. There we go. <laughs> I think if there's death penalty on every single crime. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think if there's death penalty for every single crime, I think uh, what would pretty quickly happen is it would just devolve into a rule by violence. Uh, let's see, new abilities for Kerrigan. Your power level has increased. A new tier of abilities has awakened. Hey. Oh, this is right. This is the Kerrigan ability chamber of extremely bad frame rate. So we have two new abilities. The first one is Wild Mutation, which is a, um, uh, it says here, friendly Zerg units within the target area gains plus 200 maximum life and 100% increased attack speed for 10 seconds. So that's a, like a super boost that you can use every 25 seconds to make your Zerg units really strong for 10 seconds. The other one is Spawn Banelings. Uh, the cooldown is 30 seconds, and Kerrigan can spawn 6 Banelings uh, in the target area with timed life. So basically, super boost your army for 10 seconds, or create 6 suicide units that explode. Any preferences? <laughs> Some kind of Zerg rush. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I, I'm biased towards the Banelings too, just because it's actually really funny when you actually see it happen. <laughs> oh yeah, one thing about the Wild Mutation is that it doesn't work on Kerrigan herself. So she can't actually use it to boost herself, she can only use it to boost other units. 
Either way, we can switch the ability, so I can show you what both abilities look like anyway, so I might do that later. Um, just show you what the wild mutations look like, and uh, also show you what the spawn banelings look like. <laughs> Some kind of zoom. But yeah, no, it's like, I, I can show you what the wild mutations look like later, after I've shown you what spawn banelings look like. Alright, let's check out the evolution pit. Tell me about your work. Look at flesh, see only potential. Strands, sequences, twisting, separating, joining. See how it could be better. Eat flesh, splinter bone. Inside me can touch it, weave it. Spin it. Make it great. But not perfect? Never perfect. Perfection goal that changes. Never stops moving. Can chase. Cannot catch. Hmm. You certainly have your uses. <laughs> Alright, roach abilities. So the first one... Hydro... 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 Hydriotic Bile gains plus eight damage against light units. So this is just a this is just a damage bonus. Uh, adapt uh, adept. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having such a hard time reading today. Adaptive plating, which gives them plus three armor when their HP is below fifty percent. And the third one is tunneling claws, which allows roaches to move at full speed while burrowed. It also increases their regeneration uh, by 100% while burrowed. Any preferences on abilities? More damage against light units specifically. More armor at low HP or faster movement underground. Japanification is effective. Oh, it absolutely is. I've been dropping articles left and right nowadays. Burrowing. <laughs> the roach. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. The the roach. Okay. The roach specialty uh, of being able to move underground is actually very interesting. I think they're like the only units that that can actually move underground, and it's it's incredibly good for stealth. In fact, in PvP games, ro burrowed roaches are like s such a lethal way to um stealth attack your enemy's base like honestly just as lethal as uh, dark templars because like if your opponent is not expecting it you can literally just pop up an entire army in the middle of their base and kill everything so it's like unless they have um detectors or if they realize what you're doing and they use a scan unless they unless they're able to like realize that quickly enough you can really like fuck your opponents up you know, it, it's honestly like Dark Templar uh, rushes. All right, next mission. The Protoss still seek to warn Shakuris of our presence. They are preparing to send shuttles through their warp network to Shakuris. <laughs> Let's kill more Protoss civilians. Let's commit war crimes. Not that I don't, th I don't I don't think war crimes exist as a concept in this setting. The Protoss are preparing shuttles for launch. A warp conduit. I sense millions of Protoss mines on the other side. Shakuras. If a single shuttle passes through, they can alert Shakuras to our presence. Should we destroy it then? No, they would detect that. Our only choice is to stop their shuttles from reaching the conduit. Nafash's hydralisks. Abathur, assimilate their essence into the swarm. Hydralisk reconstituted can morph from lava. I need more hydralisks to destroy these shuttles. <laughs> Keeping the violence, man. <laughs> so true. I, I didn't mean to control group the... You have Eggs. my attention. Alright. We should morph more hydralisks to destroy the enemy's flying units. Thank you. We will. Speak quickly. Hi Hydras. Get Hell yeah, Hydras. 
We require more minerals. We require more minerals. My queen, the Protoss have launched a shuttle. It is en route to a warp conduit. Not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> we will bring down that shuttle. Hell yeah. What the hell is this? A taste lope That's such a good name for a critter, a taste lope Who asked you? Look at that taste lope Oh, Out with Protoss. It. Push ahead. The swarm never oh. rests. Jeez, hold on, that's a lot of Protoss. I ain't ready to open. fight that yet. What is it now? There's not much time. Oh yeah. You wanna see spawn banelings? The swarm never rests. Get going. <laughs> Push ahead. There's not much time. God, that's so funny. I love doing that. Okay. Nothing stands in my way. Let's go back. This taste the lope. Yeah, taste the lope. <laughs> Just low expectations coming out again. <laughs> I I guess I mean when you're going up against Kerrigan of all people, I think it's reasonable to expect that you might die a horrible death. I think that's just like a reasonable assumption to make. <laughs> My queen, the Protoss were gathering biological samples and storing them in these stasis chambers. We'll destroy the chambers and take the biomass if we can. Hell yeah, biomass. Out with it. <laughs> How upsetting that would be to die. Yeah, no, it's like, Speak Kerrigan showing up on your planet is like, being hit with like a lethal... Push ahead. Actually, a natural yes. disaster would not be an apt There's comparison. The Protoss launched another shuttle. This one is accompanied by a fighter escort. You cannot stop us all, Kerrigan. Yay. Large quantities of biomass. Good to have. Can use to improve swarm. Yippee. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, ba 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 ba. Hydralisks. Zerglings. V V V. Okay. Push ahead. Speak quickly. More zerg creep. Get going. Nothing stands in That's my fight. way. That's fight. This world is mine. Yay, we blew it up. There's not much time. Okay. We need to explore some this more. World is mine. Who asked you? Oh, actually, we got to go over here Get because going. there's resources over there. Let's get our resources up and going. Let's get this over with. By attacking these guys. Failings go. The Protoss are mobilizing an assault on our hive cluster. Not if I kill them first. The swarm never rests. Where are they even attacking from? Oh, they're attacking from over there. Oh, I just killed their base, so. Yeah, we're fine. The swarm hungers. Another chamber destroyed. Yippee. What were the Protoss doing with all this biomass? Hee 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 hee. 
We require more minerals. Okay. This doesn't even have anything to do with <laughs> The Protoss have launched another shuttle. It is bearing towards an unknown location. Where? They're bringing more warp conduits online. I sense two more activating. Yeah, no, it's funny. Like, th this literally has nothing rest. to do with Manx. She's literally just killing them just because. Genuinely no reason to do what she's doing. She's just doing it just because. <laughs> Push ahead. The swarm hungers. Get going. Oh, more hydras. Yes? This world is mine. <laughs> it's quick, it's easy and free. <laughs> what is it now? No reason this not to do it, so she just does it. You. Essentially, There's what's happening. Alright. This hive cluster now belongs to the swarm. Oh, there was a hive cluster here? What in the world? Out with it. I had no idea. Quickly. Oh, that's cool. Free hive. Get going. Free cluster. You have my attention. Let's see. One more. What is and it? then we need a, a ton of drones here. Oh. Ah. We require more minerals. All right. Oh. Okay. Ah, okay. Let's move on. Warriors need mineral. <laughs> yeah, no, they give you a lot of base, a lot of resources in this mission. All right, Banelings. That's the last stasis chamber. We'll examine biomass, consume, improve swarm. The Protoss are launching shuttles from a new base. Well, that makes things a little more complicated. Out with it. All right. New base. We require more minerals. We require more minerals. Get going, speak quickly. It is over with. The swarm hungers. <laughs> Dude, how's our upgrades looking? We gotta get more. You have my attention. There's not much time. <laughs> Who asked you? I am sensing a Protoss psionic matrix. Your forces are nearing the enemy's base. Yeah? Yes? What about it? What about it, Isha? You saying you shouldn't I shouldn't go near the enemy base? We have so many Hydralisk. Look at our army of Hydralisk. What is it now? <laughs> Let's attack Nothing the enemies for fun. Way. Get going out with it. <laughs> Bainly. There's not much time. Yes. Oh, nice. You have my attention. Oh, they have a carrier? <laughs> Isha is passive aggressive. I love Isha, she's such a good character. The best Zerg maid. 
But yeah, we're more than capable of destroying the enemy base, so there's no reason not to just attack directly. I mean, if you destroy all the docking bays, they can't launch any shuttles anyways. A launch bay has been destroyed. The Protoss will be forced to launch their shuttles from the remaining bays. Protoss are launching two sets of shuttles. Tenacious bastards. Alright, let's go take care of the shuttles. Let's get this over with. You have my attention. Unacceptable command. We are at maximum supply. The swarm out with it. The swarm hunger. Who asked you? <laughs> Destroyed. Wahaha. <laughs> Speak quickly. Hold on, there's a thing over here. Push ahead. Is there a thing over there? I want to see if there's a thing over there. Mineral field. I have a humongous. I'm gonna send this contingent of Zergs over here to do this. The rest of you. you have my attention. Oh, there's more Zergs here. Warning. Your forces are approaching the enemy's base. It's attack. We kill. <laughs> yeah, no, they really should have, like, went all out with their air force attacks. It's kind of funny that they hold a lot of their base back. Or a lot of their armies back. Alright, destroy this docking bay. Another Protoss launch bay has been destroyed. <laughs> yes. Porsche, who asked you? The Protoss have launched more shuttles. One shuttle through the conduit, and you will feel the might of the Golden Armada! Well, let's go stop them then. This world is mine. Blow that thing up. Push ahead. Oh, 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 they launched two shuttles at once. This ends now. Who asked you? Just launch a full scale assault. <laughs> yeah, no, that's really what they should have done. And funny enough, that's actually the strategy I used when I played StarCraft 1 missions. Like, there are some StarCraft 1 missions that were notoriously difficult, but I realized that you can really cheese them if you just if you just send a ton of shuttles at the target location and just drop everything off in the same place, and then you'll instantly win. Like, that's how I beat a bunch of StarCraft 1 missions that were really difficult. Like, you remember that mission where, um, in, uh, fucking, what you call, Brood Wars. You remember that mission in Brood Wars where you... There, you had to fight um, the civil war on Shakuras, where that one Alderis, that's his name. You had to kill Alderis, but there was three of him, and each one of them were a different um, hallucination. I remember for that one. Oh, hold on. I basically just used drop ships to drop units on top of Alderis. The warp conduits are useless to them now. You've done it, my queen. The Protoss threat is removed. 
Nothing is done. Until they are all dead. Like, sometimes literally the, the best way to beat a level is literally to just throw everything you have in one single assault and you'll win. <laughs> That's what they should have done. <laughs> you do not have to do this. You could leave. Be away from this moon before the Golden Armada arrives. I can't run. I know that now. My enemies will never stop coming for me. All I can do is fight. Then there will never be peace. <laughs> peace? <laughs> Civ 2 strat, we just build <laughs> closer and closer to your city. Yeah, I mean, boxing your opponents in is a strategy. It's why in Age of Empires 2, like, building forward castles near your opponent's base is a really good way to, uh... It's a really good way to keep your enemies from expanding. <laughs> you literally started this fight. Our scouts report a large Protoss ship on the other side of the moon. The interstellar ship they used to travel here. It is not yet ready for launch, but it will be before we can get to it. They're tenacious. I'll give them that. But I am ready for this. Oh, this mission. The Zerg and Protoss fighting over a miserable piece of ice. I am learning from you, my queen. You are here to strengthen your swarm for the fight ahead. <laughs> Alright, let's do a wild mutation next time, and we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> you chose to do this, Kerrigan. <laughs> when I was my old self, did I ever give you humans to experiment on? Yes, very bad. Primitive structures, minimal biological adaptability. <laughs> you know I was Terran. Rare Terran individuals, high psionic potential, <laughs> overcome flawed origins. From now on, we won't be doing any more experiments on humans. Am pleased to know it. Aberther sounds like he didn't like experimenting on humans. <laughs> I also love that, like, the moment he realized he was being racist towards Kerrigan, he immediately goes like, oh, but you're different. <laughs> it's like, wow, Avatar. <laughs> Way to go, man. Alright, Hydralisk upgrades. Frenzy. When Frenzy is activated, the Hydralisk gains plus 50% attack speed for 15 seconds. Cooldown is 30 seconds. Ancillary Carapace. Gets plus 20 maximum HP. Grooved Spines. Attack range increased to 6. So that's a plus 1 range. <laughs> He's a classic mid-management guy. <laughs> Alright, so which one do we want? Um, a um, attack speed power-up for Hydralisks? More HP or increased range? Increased range? That's pretty reasonable. Frenzy and ranged. Yeah, no, the, the the upgrades are pretty um they are pretty whatever. But um hmm. Oh, you never actually played this before? Well, I will say this, for the next mission specifically, Frenzy will be useful, because the next mission is mostly going to be close quarters combat, but under normal circumstances, increased range is pretty useful. But for the next mission, Frenzy is pretty useful just because we're going to be mainly in close quarters combat. And besides, again, with these upgrades, we can literally switch them whenever we want in between missions, so... They don't have to be set in stone. <laughs> oh, I, I love this next mission, though, by the way. This next mission is, like, one of my favorite missions in the Zerg campaign. The Protoss have launched a vessel from the dark side of Calder. We are still able to sense its presence, but time is running short. <laughs> one of your ships escaped. 
Then you need only await the Golden Armada. Your death will be swift. I'm sorry. For what? Slaughtering my people? For what I must do to you. Your friends on that ship can sense you. They know they left one behind. No. But they can't warp you to their ship, because I'm blocking them. No! No! But if I drop the veil... Do not warp me in, Templar! Do not! You let the other Protoss take her? She will be their death. Flag spaghetti monster. <laughs> god, look at that Protoss ship. It is so cool. Oh my god, look at this thing. The Templar must be warned. Now. Listen carefully. This ship contains many dangers. Follow my commands and hide in the shadows. You will consume and grow. Infest this ship and kill every last Protoss on board. We are a larva. Why was there no one there to greet her? That is kind of funny. And spawn your brood. Yeah, no, it's kind of funny. This vessel is bloated with life. Easy to find biomass. God, look at how cool this map is. Holy shit. A zealot. Use your parasitic invasion to hide within that. What was that noise? We're a layout now. All right. He's gone. Consume your host and move on. <laughs> A sentry. Hide in the steam vents until it passes. And yes, this is a stealth mission right now. Hi. I love these fucking steam, steam vents that are just so conveniently placed. You know, th this map is insane. Like, there's so many good art assets. Like, this looks so cool. They put so much details on this shit. Hi, Sentry. You can't see me. The steam conceals my presence. There's no way around those zealots. Invade the Ursodon and crush them. Uh, stealth missions are pretty uncommon, yeah. The Zerg have infested the Ursodon! So the Protoss think they have a few infested animals. They have no idea what they're up against. <laughs> and yes, you get to play as critters in this mission. The time has come. It's so you cool. Grow into a brood mother. Oh. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the chat. There's no security. You know, it's so funny. There's no security team on this ship. Well, they did mention that this is just a research vessel, but still. Safe place. Stop here. This area is safe from prying eyes. Evolve. Grow. All right, time to grow. <laughs> we obey. <laughs> You are Niadra. This is your purpose. Spawn a brood 
and destroy the Protoss. Kill them all. I live to serve. We have Niadra now. I hear. Kill these creatures. I can consume their biomass and use it to grow our brood. The Zerg have infiltrated our vessel. Warriors, destroy them! Yes, my queen. Call the swarm. <laughs> the hunt continues. Our time has come. Unacceptable. Without question, tear down their defenses. Nothing stops the swarm. As God, there's so many critters on this ship. This really was a researcher vessel. Ah, took them up there. All right, Zerglings, it's your time to shine. The energy, it is overwhelming. You found their warp drive. Destroy it, and this vessel will never reach Shakuras. <laughs> Destroy the warp drive myself. Continues. <laughs> we obey. Yeah, no, this ship has very little security. <laughs> it's kind of funny. This vessel will burn. Warning. A warp drive breach has occurred. Evacuate immediately. Contain them! The Zerg must not reach the stasis chambers! You will not hold back the swarm! I am unacceptable. As you desire. Yes, my queen. The explosions have stopped. Wait, there is a disturbance in the chamber ahead. Emergency. Power failure detected. Awakening Protoss warriors from stasis. This vessel will burn! It's time to evolve and expand your control over your brood, Niadra. Hey, <laughs> we are bigger now, stronger, and we have roaches. For the swamp. Exterminate the specimens. Do not allow the sir to consume them. Kill their warriors. I must have that biomass. That tasty biomass. Guide my brute, we yearn for the kill. Our time, I am Liadra. Tasty biomass. I hear. I am Liadra. Oh, 
Oh yeah, if you're wondering what the roach burrowing movement looks like, this is what it looks like. The roaches can literally just move underground like this. Very good for stealth. Yeah, it's funny, they can burrow in the ship. However that works. Alright, take all the samples before they do. You must evolve. Grow stronger. The final battle approaches. Alright, time to grow. <laughs> Look at how big we are now. <laughs> the Adra is so huge. We can also spawn Hydralisk now, which is cool. Oh yeah, the downside to friend the Hydralis Frenzy is that it's an activated ability. You have to manually activate it in order for it to work. Do not let them kill the Arthodon. The Arthodon is mine. Come, beast. We have Protoss to destroy. Nah, they killed one of the Arthodons. Oh well. We have the Arthodon though. The big one. <laughs> the Protoss are fortifying the bridge. Prepare your forces. Ah, thank you for the slurp and the posture redeem, Mal. I will rehydrate in the middle of the mission. Ah, whoops! I just got water on my glasses. Hold on. I glugged too hard, and now, okay, my glasses are good. Why can't she just eat the corpse? Yeah, that's a that's a good question actually. I don't know why she can't just eat the corpse. God, the Ursidon made for it. The giant Ursidon is so strong. The ship has taken us as far as it can. Prepare the escape pods. Destroy the pods before they launch. The Protoss must not reach Shakuras. Activate Frenzy. Strike now. We must buy our brother's time. They prepare more escape pods. Destroy them. I fear no enemy, for the color is my strength. How may I serve? Our time has come. Ah. Yes, okay. Escape pods over there. As you desire. We will not go quietly into the void. I gotta say, the, the random enemies' uh, voice lines are pretty good. We will never be defeated! We give our lives for the call! Yes, you will. <laughs> The hunt. How may I serve? We obey. I fear. Our time has come. All right, final archon. Yeah, no, they really are the space the are no more, my queen. My queen, can you hear me? We are alone. The Queen of Blades has given us one purpose. To destroy the Protoss. We will be prepared. We will serve again. <laughs> so, fun fact about Niadra. In the comics that take place after StarCraft II, Niadra actually becomes one of the villains. 
because the only purpose she knows is to kill Protoss, and so that's exactly what she does. In the comics, she actually becomes like a, a pretty dangerous villain too, like fighting both the Terrans and the Protoss. And in fact, she does actually kill one of the Protoss leaders too. Do you remember Admiral U Urun from the uh, the Terran campaign, the Protoss side missions, um, the fight, the last stand mission? Urun was the one leading the Phoenix. He was the uh, he was the admiral leading the Phoenix. So in the comics, Niadra actually kills Urun after like a fierce battle with the Protoss. <laughs> So it's kind of funny that like Kerrigan, just for the sake of stopping this one shuttle, ended up creating this like genocidal <laughs> brood mother, <laughs> who just goes on to try to exterminate the Protoss on her own. <laughs> like man, Kerrigan really, really caused some problems here. It is done. The Golden Armada will never know we were here. I am glad that Protoss is no longer aboard our Leviathan. Her psionic presence was disturbing. She died bravely, trying to save her friends. Why do you care how the Protoss died? I will kill anyone in my way. <laughs> that doesn't mean I enjoy it. Even Arcturus Mengsk, my queen? Will his death bring you no joy? Stop talking, Isha. <laughs> Nefasha's brood had many strong adaptations, but they were few in number. <laughs> Isha is so done with Kerrigan's dramatics. <laughs> Just once, I'd like to go somewhere nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, Avatar. Placed Parasite into Protoss' host. Yes. What about it? Clever. Lateral thinking. Protoss not able to be infested, but can still be host to foreign organism. Origins of Parasite unknown. I made it, Abathur. You're not the only one who can spin sequences. Revelation. We'll continue work. <laughs> Revelation. <laughs> But yeah, Frenzy is pretty good, but one downside, as you may have noticed, is that you have to manually activate it. Which adds quite a bit of micromanagement to a Hydralisk army. So that is one downside to it. But I don't remember what our... So I might adjust the uh, Hydralisk ability accordingly between range and Frenzy, depending on the mission. Like, the mission we just played was very close quarters, so the Frenzy worked very well. But in other missions that require... Um, a lot more range, we might switch to the ranged instead. When's the beach episode? <laughs> Isha would absolutely love a hot spring episode, honestly. She could use it. Roach strain ready for augmentation. Hell yeah. Protoss research facilities discovered. Experiments within useful to evolve swarm. Must oh. acquire. Destroy Protoss. Improve Swarm. Oh, this one is fun. I think you'll really like the options you get to have with the roaches. Planet Kantar. Concealed Protoss facility. Many Protoss specimens. Captive Scantipede is virulent parasite. Well then, why don't we let it out to play? Implants parasites into host, erupt from corpse. Essence must be ours. Protoss must not destroy. Hi. Scantity. Essence acquired. 
Ages modified with parasitic sequence. Corpser strain implants Roachling parasite erupts from enemy's corpse. Push forward. Leave no survivors. See? Roachlings. Look at these things. They're tiny roaches. The tiny roaches don't have any attack range though, so they're more like zerglings than anything. They also have timed life, but you can just spawn the shit ton of them if you wanted to. <laughs> look at all the- look at this army of roaches. Their time life is pretty short is the only thing, but they're so fast. Look at how fast they are. They have two attack. <laughs> it's like fucking nothing. Fucking tiny ass roachlings. Zerg babies. So many tiny roachlings. <laughs> Protoss destroyed. Centipede essence secure. You're so tiny. <laughs> Clean as day. Planet Melus 4. Environment used to guide evolution. <laughs> Microbial organisms reproduce within pools. Generations of roaches ordered to consume. Most organs seize up, die. Survivors adapted, formed symbiotic bond with microbes. New strain, vile roach, ready for command. I sense Protoss forces nearby. Let's see these new roaches in combat. That was a really confusing explanation. <laughs> Vile strain. Acid saliva coats enemy. Slows movement. Slows attacks. Systems unresponsive. They're not... So as you can see, this debuff is um, attacks debilit debilitates targets, slowing attack and movement speeds by 75%. So this is a pretty hefty uh, speed debuff against enemies. Heroic units are slowed by 20%. God, look at that regen. They don't let us use burrowed movement in this mission, though. Additional roaches arriving now. Thank you. Abominations! Difficult to As you can see, the speed debuff is pretty substantial. Vile strain successful. Protoss eliminated. Must prepare sequences. Returning to evolution pit. 
sequences ready for integration. Await decision. All right, so tiny Roachling army or a massive speed debuff on enemies. Quantity or quality, as is the usual choice. <laughs> Tiny Roachling army? <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. I, I'm not gonna lie, I actually really like the Roachlings too. <laughs> I like the- I, I, I'm very much biased towards the, uh, the Corpser strain. So, let's go Corpser. Spawns two Roachlings and kill. The slow roaches are way too specialized against Protoss. Hmm, you're not wrong about that. Protoss are much weaker to debuffs than parents are. Corpser, here we go. The Corpser would be really good against Marines. Like, the Corpser would decimate swarms of Marines. <laughs> we now have the Corpser roaches. All right, let's, let's travel. Uh, did I switch to Kerrigan? Yes, we'll try out vi Wild Mutation next, and you'll see what it looks like, and then we can Zerus, take a look. Zerus, world of the Zerg. It lies far beyond the Caprulu sector, where no Terran has ventured. You must go to that ancient place, Kerrigan. Learn its secrets, and take its power. Okay, Zeratul. I guess that's where we're going. <laughs> Hi, Zeratul. Nice to rendezvous. Zerus called you here. My need to see Menk's dead called me here. The Zerg will help me destroy Korhal. You must let Zerus remake you, Kerrigan. The final war nears, and there is little time. I don't have to do a damn thing. I will not be a pawn in your prophecies. But you will do anything to have your revenge. Anything. Then that is enough. <laughs> Mysterious as ever, Zeratul. I'm looking through the eyes of my overlords. These primal Zerg are fascinating. They show no signs of age. All organisms age, even Zerg. But the primal should be a queen in the game. Individuals. They're in a state of constant evolution. They don't die. Until they are killed by another primal. True. The most successful hunters among them must be incredibly ancient. And incredibly dangerous. <laughs> we came from this place? The Zerg first evolved here, yes. I do not like it. A soft world. Char is far superior. Don't be so sure. Zerus may prove more dangerous than any world we've known. Yeah, it's true. Not all organisms age. Lobsters, for example, are functionally... Lobsters don't die of old age, so... Why are you helping me, Zeratul? You have more cause to hate me than most. The Zelnaga wish you restored as the leader of the Swarm. You know I don't believe in your mad prophecies. Your belief is not required. I act for the greater good, though it earns me the hatred of my own people. Spare me your self-pity, Zeratul. Everyone has to make peace with their own choices. I made my peace long ago. When we are done here, I will return to my people. And accept their judgment. We all have to pay for our actions someday. 
I guess your day is almost here. <laughs> he's just surrounded by farmhouse. <laughs> Honestly, Isha feels like that one maid character who's just like more capable than any and than everyone around her. But she is the maid, so she's relegated to the role of a maid. The primal Zerg are disturbed by our presence. They gather even now, preparing to destroy us. <laughs> I sense something. An ancient consciousness. Oh, she can be as the street man. Mm, the ancient one. A primal zerg who witnessed the creation of the Overmind. You want me to awaken it, don't you? If you truly seek the power of Zeros, you will need the ancient one. My queen, enemy primals are massing nearby. They are going to attack us. They wish to stop you from speaking with the Ancient One. What will you do? What my enemies fear most. Always. You are on the path and no longer need my guidance. You will not see me again, Kerrigan. Bye, Zertul. Bye. So this is the Ancient One. To awaken this creature, we must feed it. There's a lot of biomass here. We'll kill these Quilgore and have drones harvest meat from their corpses. Once the drone is done harvesting, it will drag the biomass to the Ancient. Warning, a force of primal hey, guardians is preparing to assault the hive cluster. It's the guardians. Oh, they can attack air. Primal Zerg forces are massing nearby. They are likely to attack again. Let them try. Man, the primal guardians can attack air units, whereas the Zerg um the swarm hungers. Uh, guardians can't attack air units. So I guess we know who is superior here. This pack of Quilgore is our first target. Let's move out. All right, let's spread some creep. Who asked you? All right, we need the spire upgrades. You abandoned us in the first game. <laughs> we require more minerals. Man, I do miss the guardians. They're such a good unit. Yes. It's kind of funny that the ancient one is just sleeping with his mouth open. It's, it's like fucking snoring or something. Ooh, resources. Let's get this over. I'm sensing something primal nearby, but it's small. You mean these primal zergs? Primal essence pool, strong sequences. Approach, absorb essence, will augment strength. I feel stronger. This must be the power Zeratul spoke of. Yeah, the you power of bonus attention. objectives is what it's called. He's actually awakened, but he won't do anything. <laughs> Man, though, can you imagine if you're just taking a nap and people are just shoving food in your mouth? That would be so rude. Out with it. There's not much time. The swarm hungers. Stop. Push ahead. Oh yeah, these Quilgores are also critters that can actually attack, this world is which is fun. I love attacking critters. Speak quickly. 
Get going. Primal Roach. Alright, buff. This is what Wild Frenzy looks like. The units get uh, additional plus 200 HP and uh, faster attack for 10 seconds. Yes. Oh, it's worn off. I forgot that 10 seconds is not very long. But it is a thing. Alright, uh, let's head back. Alright. Two, two, three. Stop pinging, jeez. Quilgore located. We must move quickly if we are to secure their biomass. Okay, fine. Good heavens. Uh, team three. Out with it. Let's try to get a uh, uh, Quilgore that's further away first. Speak quickly. Did the thing you say get censored in the chat? I don't even do? know what like filters I Get have going. on. All right. A drone can harvest biomass from this quilgore. The process is slow and our drone will be vulnerable. We must protect it while it harvests. Get this over with. Nothing stands. Let's get another mind. drone to harvest. We need to harvest this biomass quickly. Who asked you? There's not much time. <laughs> wow, mutation. Destroyed. Alright, harvest that. Yes? Alright, Zergling, go grab that Vespian gas and be right back. Let's get some mutilus. It is dangerous to harvest from multiple corpses. The primal Zerg are sure to attack our drones. You grow greedy. It shall be your downfall. Harvest successful. The biomass is in transit to the Ancient One. Primal Zerg forces incoming. It's Garf. Our drone must be protected. Why is Garfield censored? <laughs> oh, it, Monday is here today. Uh, is to here today? Is here today? Is today here? Today is Monday here. Oh my God! <laughs> Garf. Oh, there's a base right there. We could have grabbed. Our forces are under attack. What? Swarm hungers. Oh, we are under attack. Damn. You must not wake the ancients. Destroy the meat. Leave for nothing. Destroy the meat. We have to stop them. Our forces can intercept their raiding parties. Get going. Your arrogance is unacceptable. Zealous will consume you. Quilgore biomass under attack. Ah, we better go fight them. The swarm never rests. This biomass belongs to the swarm. <laughs> I love the way they talk about way. biomass. It strikes me as very There's amusing. No oh, hey. I I saw you, man. Our drone is under attack. Oh, jeez. We should provide escorts. So we can return the biomass safely. Whoopsies. Push ahead. Uh, blah, blah. yeah, harvest. Actually, no, harvest that one. What is it now? Let's prepare more drones. Who asked you? Ah, uh, I forgot. It, it takes them like a minute time. to harvest. Well. Let's fly around with our mutas then. Just in the meanwhile. Oh, these are the spore rays. I love the spore rays. I made them a, a, an attack unit in uh, my custom maps.
will go down. Who asked you? All right, we need to acquire this, and you and you. biomass under attack. The swarm hungers. Let's get this over with. Actually, stay put. Ah, just wait. Different, different. Here, here, here. Okay, there we go. So this is our primal. This is a primal ultra list, which is really interesting. They look totally different from the Zerg ultra lists. God damn it, Cold Wars! Fuck you. You deserve this. Ah, she got. Uh, drones. All right, you Kerrigan. Have my attention. Yes. Follow that drone, Kerrigan. Grab this. The swarm never rests. Biomass. Get this over with. There's not much time. Nothing <laughs> stands in my way. <laughs> Push ahead. Get going. We have recovered half of the biomass needed to awaken the ancient. <laughs> we require more Vespine gas. One, two, three. Over here. Harvest some minerals. Yippee. One, two, three. Minerals. Ah, uh, I need more. I need another hatchery is what I need. I'm not producing units fast enough. The swarm hunger. One, two, three. Primal forces are attacking Quilgore biomass. Okay. Our forces are under attack. We must. Our forces are under attack. Are Out over with attack. Let's get this over with. Oh shit, Kerrigan's taking damage. You have my attention. Who asked you? A drone is under attack oh, fuck. by Brax forces. Fuck. Whoops. Alright, Kerrigan, you can unburrow now. Alright, I lost the drone. Whoops. New drone. Uh cool gore. God damn it. What is it now? All right, heal up. Uh, where do oh, I have a zergling? There, zergling. Go grab that vespine, vespine. Zerg build. Zerg buildings are very abstract. It's it's weird thinking about them sometimes because they're just like big hunks of flesh, essentially. Primal forces are attacking Quilgore biomass. Kill them all. I gotta find out where the other bonus objective pool is for Kerrigan to level up. Uh, not here. Nothing stands in the way of the swarm. Uh, where is the last Zerg pool? Who asked you? Ah, I'm pressing the wrong button. What is it now? There we go. Team two. And 
zero. Really? There's ah, here it is. Found it. This is the last primal essence. Brax forces are destroying Quilgor biomass. Brax forces are destroying Quilgor biomass. Uh huh. They sure are. Let's go harvest this one. What is it now? Kerrigan, go grab the thing. Don't get distracted. Eh? What are you guys doing? What are you drones doing? This essence is so alive. I think I like it. All right. You have my attention. We got all the things. Mutation complete. Grab it. We have met the enemy in combat. Get going. Nothing stands in my way. The swarm never rests. It's a shame that the wild mutation doesn't work on Kerrigan herself, because it means Kerrigan cannot use it to boost herself. She can only use it to boost her army. Push ahead. It's a pretty useful boost when you do get to use it though. I will say that much. I have so many zerglings. What if we made a baneling nest? Yes. There's not much time. Who asked you? Ah, why are you going that way, drone? That's so dangerous. This world is mine. The swarm hungers. Ah, you'll be fine, actually. Ah. Nothing stands in my way. You're targeting this one again. We're almost done here. Yes, we are. Brax forces are destroying Quilgore biomass. Oh, well, let's fly in then. Oh, primal hive. Similar to hive spawns primals. Annihilation recommended. Look at that cool last hive. The primal hive can even attack. That's so cool. So cool. Out with it. Mineral field depleted. Uh, what was I doing before? Right, I remember now. Oh, gee, that's a pretty big uh, attack army. Okay, our mission is complete, anyways. Doesn't matter. <laughs> this ends now, corrupt Zerg. I will kill you myself. Defend the hive cluster. Oh, I guess we're defending. Ooh. Your empty minions are no match for the might of the primal Zerg. Hi, Brax. Uh, let's prepare more, uh, banelings. We can blow them up with banelings. Hi, Brack. Hello. Look at how big he is. What a big guy. Big little fella. Look at all my banelings. <laughs> I have so many banelings. <laughs> for you. Attack! <laughs> we, we just blew him up with Bane Links. There's not much time.
Hi. Ancient One, I am here for the power of Zerus. I will sacrifice anything to achieve my goal. You will help me. Your swarm bears the mark of Amon, the fallen Zarnada who came to Zerus long ago. He forged the Zerg into a weapon and took them away. Yet, some of us were hidden, overlooked. We multiplied. We remain pure. If you seek our power, you must become Primal Zerg. You must become pure. <laughs> oh, I only destroyed one out of four Primal Hive. Well, that's not... That's not important. That's you don't get anything for doing that. It's just a high score thing. <laughs> My queen, why did we wake the ancient one? Its power outstrips even yours. The ancient one is key to unlocking the power of Zerus, and I need that knowledge. Will it not destroy us? It's called a gamble. It's something Terrans do when their instincts tell them the time is right. I see. Just as when the Terran James Rayner came to Char to return you to your original form. Yes. Just like that. The thing about gambles, Isha, is that sometimes you lose. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. We sprang from this primal Zerg, <laughs> but they are so... Chaotic. The time has come. <laughs> Hi. Do you have to roar like that? You have questions. The primal Zerg say the swarm is corrupted. What did the fallen Zelnaga Amon do to us? <laughs> Against the least insightful. <laughs> mind that's Amon's corruption it is and a terrible fate for a strong primal Zerg imagine if Zervan went through all that trouble crawling here just for Kerrigan to have no questions for him that would be really funny <laughs> anyways yeah wild mutations is pretty interesting I personally prefer spawn banelings though, mainly because I oftentimes use Kerrigan as a solo unit rather than a team player. So wild mutations I find a lot less useful because when she's on her own she can't really use it. But spawn banelings is very useful even when she's on her own because she can just do it whenever and just have a suicide army to blow up whatever is in front of her. It's very useful against uh, swarms of enemies. Primal Zerg. Unacceptable. Must be wiped clean. <laughs> no trace left. Destroy Primal Zerg. What are you talking about? Saw ranged Primal Zerg creatures on battlefield. Based on Hydralisk. Primal Zerg stole design from Swarm. Swarm on planet for hours, days, already being replicated. Abathur, are you upset? Unacceptable. Swarm's <laughs> power, ability to assimilate strengths. Primal Zerg must not take from us. Don't worry about it. They'll be on our side before I'm done here. <laughs> Avatar is so pissed. <laughs> Alright, so Mutalisk upgrades. V uh, vicious Glaive. Uh, oh, they misspelled Glaive. Mutalisk attacks bounce three three more times, hitting up to six targets. Bounces travel faster. S Rapid regeneration. Mutalisk regenerate 10 HP per second while out of combat. Must remain out of combat for five seconds. 
and Sundering Glaive. Gains plus 9 damage versus armored targets, an increase of 100%. Attacks no longer bounce to additional targets. <laughs> Abathur really is a mid-level management guy. <laughs> He's worried about copyright. <laughs> Literally copyright. But yeah, so the the mutalisk abilities are actually very interesting because they're all totally different. The first one makes them uh, extremely anti-swarm because their attacks can hit six targets. The second one lets them regenerate out of combat, so they last longer, um, kind of like the uh, gargoyles from Warcraft Three. And the third one, instead, rather than having them be anti-swarm makes them anti-armor instead like their attacks no longer bounce but they can kill the shit out of armored targets so all of these completely transforms the mutalisk role on the battlefield which is what makes them really interesting because this is one of those upgrades where it actually feels like you're completely changing the unit so any preferences It's honestly a pretty hard choice, <laughs> just because, like, they, they really do make the Mutalist, like, completely different units. The first one? I think the first one is honestly the most safe option, just because, like, rather than completely changing the Mutalist, it rather reinforces what they already do. Like, Mutalist already bounces three targets, you know? So, yeah, let's stick with this for now. Since this one will allow the Mutalist to better handle swarms of enemies. Travel to the birthplace of the Zerg. There, you will be tested. You may be torn apart. If your rage makes you strong enough, the power of Zerus will be yours. <laughs> isn't it now isn't this familiar? Nothing Blizzard calls a glaive yeah, resembles an action. You must feel the power. That's a good point, actually. Go to it. <laughs> Nothing Blizzard calls a glaive actually the resembles. <laughs> have been alerted to your arrival. They are coming for you. Abathur, send me the creature you've been working on. The swarm host. Adapted using primal essence, spawns locusts to kill enemies. God, look at these things. They look so freakish. Nothing stands in my way. Primal Zerg inbound. Root swarm hosts to begin spawning. The glaive is oh, a unique. Here they come. <laughs> Only Blizzard knows about. Eliminated. Your path is clear. There's not much time. As you can see, the swarm host get is going. basically the Zerg um, Let's get this over siege with. tank. They Nothing are literally the Zerg siege way. tank. This world is mine. You are close. The moment draws near. Is your hate still strong enough to make the necessary sacrifice? It's a pool. The first spawning pool. 
It existed before names. From this primordial place, the Zerg arose. Within, one essence split into many. One devoured another and became stronger. The first Zerg. The first larva. yourself. Evolve. Transform. Transcend. Recommendation. Avoid pool. Catalytic fluid will overwhelm Queen's body. Not strong enough. The Queen's hate is strong enough. And if I survive, it will remake me. I will become more powerful than the old Queen of Blades. Zagara. Defend the Hive Cluster and the Chrysalis until I am done. Or dead. Yes, my queen. So yeah, we have to defend the Chrysalis again. This time with Zerg siege tanks. Alright, let's set up defenses. We also need more general defenses. Defenses. The remnants of Brax forces gather nearby. They are preparing to attack the Hive Cluster. Root our swarm hosts and crawlers by that entrance. Hoo -hoo. All right. Unacceptable creep. End. We need more creep. We need so much creep. Alright, we gotta get to that expansion. The hard part is we also have to defend it. Ooh, that soundtrack. Alright, we need another high, uh, hatchery. Hive tree. Alright. You will send units there. You will send units here. I sense another pack of primal zerg gathering across the basin. Hear me, broken zerg. You have killed Brock. But his pack survives. Hello, Yagdra. I claim their territory and their essence. Okay, you can do that. The primal Zerg factions have engaged each other. Let, Let them. them kill each other. Our focus is protecting the chrysalis. You gotcha. We can get an infestation pit. All oh, right, we need that for its swarm host. I have not forgotten you, broken pack. Your leader sleeps. She will not wake. My pack will feast upon your essence. 
The address pack is preparing to attack our hive cluster. Show these primals the fury of the swarm. As soon as our overlords are spawned, we can get some zerglings. There, our zerglings are now capable of combat. Oh shit, what have you done, queen? You were gonna die. Okay, where are my upgrades? Uh, let's see, my upgrades uh, here. Where's my spire? I should have a spire, right? If I didn't, I couldn't be. I don't have a spire, oh my god. Okay, I need to be morphing. Right, I need a. Uh, Zagara have made important discovery. Primal essence collecting within pool. Can use spawn many locusts to defend hive cluster from primal attacks. These primals are relentless. Spawn the locusts now. Kill them all. Oh yeah, the, the primal zergs are also fighting each other. Um. Huh? Okay. Let's spawn the locusts. Yeah, let's go, locusts. Essence collects quickly, use frequently. Yeah, let's go, locusts. Hell yeah. We must place that on creep. Kerrigan's Chrysalis. Okay, we need to bulk up our defenses. Do we have enough drones? We do not. One, two, three, four, over here. Eto, upgrade, 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 upgrade. Okay, I need to spread creep over here. Oh my god, another bot. Yadra has sent a force of primal flyers to attack the chrysalis. Okay, we need our mutalisks. Wow, we have no fucking resources. Kill them all. Okay, we need three more drones here. No, we need way more than three more drones. There we go. Uh, okay. We need some more defensive buildings down here. One, two. I sense a powerful presence. A massive primal. Tyrannosaur, savage, extreme physical prowess, essence useful, must acquire. No simple matter. To reach it, we must cross the battle between Brack and Yadra's packs. Ah, the Tyrannosaur. That thing looks so cool. I love the spines. It's like a dinosaur. And yeah, the, the two primal zerg packs are literally just killing each other non-stop in this area. Both packs are moving against us. Prepare for a pincer attack. Mutation complete. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right, where's the pincer attack? Ah, here it, here it comes. Let's spawn the locusts. I like how the locusts count as allies that they trigger the your allies are in combat. Our queen's metamorphosis is halfway complete. Maintain oh. our defense. That's pretty fast. Let's see. Let's get some uh, bum bum bruh. You here. It you here. You here. We require the forces of Alright, where are all my mutas? Root, root, root. Root, root, root. Everyone's rooted. Root and tooted. Everyone's rooty tooted. Okay. We need more mutalisks if we want to kill the Tyrannosaur. Oh god. We gotta get rid of some of our units. Oh jeez, uh, chip though. Oh, no, we're good. I forgot we have, uh, Hyperlisks. Come on, Bane Lane, come on. We got a Bane. Oh jeez, I need to plug my phone in. Here. There, it's plugged in. Alright, Bane. Alright, Zerglings. Let's bane it up. We should morph units that can attack flying units. Thank you for that. We can birth queens from the hatchery to destroy the enemy's flyers. That felt very passive aggressive. Alright. Banelings and uh Mutalisks. We will go fight the Tyrannosaur directly. We will attack the Tyrannosaur with our Banelings and with our Mutalisks. This is the Tyrannosaur. There we go. Alright, everyone, return. There we go. Everyone, fall back. We have what we came for. <laughs> the Banelings are very useful, huh? I quite like them. Uh, we're at... Oh, I, there's a Vespine Geyser I have not been using whatsoever. I can't believe I missed that. Wow. That, that wasn't very cash money of me. The Primal Zerg are destroying the rocks near the Chrysalis. And those locusts can't actually hit the hydralisks. That's funny. They don't know where to go. Seven more minutes. I love banelings. They're so delightful. Oh, they're attacking that base again. Oh, they're not anymore. For they are dead. The chrysalis opens. Our queen is close to waking. 
Our queen is broken. Our forces are under attack. God, the swarm hosts are such weird units. They really are bizarre. Oh wow, look at that chrysalis. You can you can see Kerrigan's silhouette. It's pulsating. Kerrigan pulsates. This pile of rocks is never gonna get blown up. We have 10,000 minerals, I just realized. This stage is not as hard as I remember it. <laughs> Wonder what it feels like. I wonder too, honestly. Oh, thank you for the uh, Slurp and Posture Redeem. It's a good time to regenerate. Ah. I am regenerated. I don't know, I see Brax forces coming for us. Oh. Oh, look at them fight each other. Yeah, kill each other. We have such a big army. This is like no challenge. It's nice having a, a pack of uh, mutalisks just being a. Uh, oh, geez, that's a viper. Ah, here we go. Oh, look at that Zerg hair.
Kerrigan Bean. I'm in, Minx. God, what a dramatic shot. Oh, he has the artifact. Minx still has the artifact. Yay, we did it. <laughs> Kerrigan is Zerg Isha. again. What is a primal Zerg doing on my Leviathan? I am Dehaka. One who collects, I kill, I take essence. Now I come to you because I feel your change. All Zerus feels it. All Zerus fears it and you. But you don't fear me, do you, Dahaka? You shine. You will bring more essence, and I will follow. When you do not, I will not. Well, my forged alliance is on shakier ground than that. Very well, you can stay. Betray me and I'll collect your essence. Yes. God, the Haka's design is so weird. He's completely asymmetrical, which is so cool. Like nothing I've known before. You radiate so much power. More than the old Queen of Blades ever did. Everything is different. I could always hear the swarm. Control it. But now... I feel the swarm. Now I am the swarm. Patchwork Predator. The, the Hawkeye really is. He's actually a pretty cool guy. Do you think the remaining pack leaders will join me now? They are a rock, a tree, a hill. They will stand against the wind. They seek power. You know, he and is so asymmetrical. I am a river. I will flow. I seek essence. Will the pack leaders have no chance against the swarm now? They gather essence for thousands of years. They are blinded, but they are not foolish. Hi, Zagara. I look like the leader of the swarm now. Perhaps this will help bring more brood mothers back into the fold. You were the true leader of the swarm yesterday, and you will be tomorrow. Your appearance does not matter. Perhaps not to you. The Terrans will not be so understanding. <laughs> you have been reborn, a primal back leader of boundless power. I feel as if I can rip worlds apart. And are you the equal of Amon, who once controlled you? He never controlled me. I felt an influence, a trace of something dark but long gone. Amon must have died before I was infested. I hope it is so, for he truly could rip worlds apart. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of prefer that Kerrigan's a uh, old Queen of Blades design. I think the older design looks a little bit more interesting. This new design is just way too colorful and flashy. Oh, Kerrigan's abilities is sealed off. But we can access Apather. Genetic strands different. 
Restructured from base level up. Stronger than Queen of Blades. Sequences complex but clean. Completely different at core. Yes, I am different. I am my own master. When the Zelnaga artifact made me human again, it cleansed me of Amon's influence. And that allowed me to become something greater. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a fan of the Must purple. Must take sample. Study new sequences. Don't even try, Abathur. What I am now is beyond your comprehension. Difficult to admit. New structure beyond understanding will return to work. Honestly, I think it's mainly the contrast between the purple and the brown that's very striking. I think, um... I think the purple could have worked if the other colors used wasn't brown. The previous design using darker colors uh, meshed a lot better because the brown didn't stand out quite as much when it was uh, uh, with paired with other darker colors. But this color is a very bright purple and it looks very different on the brown background. Alright, so the swarm host abilities. Oh, the green... <laughs> All right, so the swarm host abilities. The first one is burrow. This allows the swarm host to burrow underground rather than just take root. While they're burrowed, the swarm host cannot be seen without detection, and they can spawn locusts while burrowed. So, another advantage to being burrowed is that other zergs can walk on top of them, and so they won't get in the way of the uh, your army. The second one is Rapid Incubation, which allows Swarm uh, Locusts to spawn 20% faster. This is essentially just better firepower is what it is. And the third one is Pressurized Glands, which allows Locusts to attack both air and ground units. This means uh, your Zerg... Um, your Zerg... Your Zerg siege tanks can now also attack air units. So, what do you think? Burrow for more uh, versatility. I mean, for more... Uh, yeah, versatility for your army so they don't get in the way. Rapid incubation so they attack faster. Or pressurized gland so they can attack both air and ground. Anti-air sounds nice. <laughs> I agree. Let's go with anti-air. God, imagine anti-air siege tanks. That would be so good. <laughs> it is time. Confront the remaining back leaders. Take what is theirs. Embrace the destiny of all sir. All right, it is time. Let's kill. Let's kill and slaughter. You must know your enemies. Yankra, a worm whose acid burns like fire. God, that is so badass. Kraith. Immense and consumed by hatred. Sleven, the eternal mother, hollow and destructive. Kill them, and you will command the whole of the Zerg. Each has sent most of its back against your swarm. Leaving themselves vulnerable. Zagara, defend the Leviathan. I will deal with the path leaders myself. Alright. Make your peace. <laughs> Our conquest continues. My queen, new form, powerful, can leap through air, strike foes, heavy damage. Ooh, passive. Okay, so this one, the leaping strike allows her to jump and deal 150 damage. 
and you can uh, it also passively increases your attack range by three and no reduce your attack range by three but increases your attack damage by ten new offensive ability psionic shift dash quickly destroy creatures within path dash quickly dealing 50 damage to all enemies and passive is movement speed increased by 30% no like this relic Zelnaga origin houses genetic information important must collect Gold is mine Boldly. primal roaches help they fight Yandra's mood New form can twist essence, mend wounds, heal nearby Zerg and self. Yeah. Ooh, primal roaches. They have no special ability. They just look cool. They do look really cool, though. I will say that. Our conquest continues. We adapt. Boldly. Make your peace. I am the swarm. This world is mine. The swarm conquers all. <laughs> eh? No time like the ah, present. Ah, okay, there's an artifact over there. Your queen listens. We adapt. The swarm conquers all. We are without limit. It is time. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, Kerrigan somehow is even less present. What is it this time? <laughs> Our conquest continues. I will say, I like that they give you a level literally just for you to try out new abilities. Boldly. This world is mine. No time like the present. Speak. The swarm conquers all. More roaches. Thank you, Dehaka. We are without limit. Leader of the broken back. No. Is that fear, Yagdra? You do know you never had a chance, right? Your change means nothing! I will melt the flesh from your bones! We are dead. Die, weakling! I am one. It's laying eggs. Destroy them. No time is the present. Our conquest continues. The swarm conquers all. Make your peace. We are without limit. Make your peace. The swarm conquers all. Stay still! <laughs> I am the swarm. Cool boss, but very easy to kill. No time like the present. Our conquest continues. Ah, the swarm down. conquers all. Your queen listens. Yay, primal lists. My pack, primal hydra lists. Retribution will be mine. No special abilities. They just look cool. Quickly. Destroy the eggs before they hatch. Focus on the largest ones first. Make your what is it this time? It is time. This world is mine. Enforce my hand. The form conquers all. Your queen listens. Peace. <laughs> Make your peace. 
I am the swarm. Yes. Ah, there's Our the artifact. Continues. What is it this time? Retribution. All right, we found the yes. artifact here. So I, I love how random the Zelnaga artifact is. We adapt. I am like I know that Amon's been here before, but even still, it's like really Zelnaga artifact. That's what we're looking for here. This feels so random. <laughs> but I guess they needed to give you a bonus objective. What is it this time? Our conquest continues. No time of the present. Make your peace. Yes. We adapt. Blizzard loves random shit. Makes so true. <laughs> the swarm, it is time. My pack is ready to fight. Thank you. Retribution will be mine. I feel your strength. You will be worth killing. Worth the blood. Hi, Kraith. Kraith is just an angry bull. Or an angry bull that does that. An angry bull that's also a uh, machine gun, I guess. Here comes his machine gun. That was fast. <laughs> At least he's not shooting milk. <laughs> Where are we? Where do we go? Ah, here we go. My pack arrives. Ah, primal ultralisk. Your enemies. Hell yeah, ultralisk. The primal ultralisk looks so interesting. Cause they look so different. They were like dinosaurs. We are without limit. Boldly. What's this? An alternate Our path? Makes cool this looks like an alternate path. But I guess it's not an alternate path. I am the swarm. I have been deceived. The swarm conquers all. Make your These ones explode when they sense you. We adapt. Retribution will be mine. What is it this Primal time? Banelings. We adapt. Is this yes. a secret path? The swarm conquers. Rather sore. Fights with acid. Bring it down quickly. I am the swarm. We have that limit. Our conquest continues. Hi, Ravasaurs. The Ravasaurs are honestly pretty the interesting. Because their attacks can, in fact, be dodged. Since they're, they, they target a specific area, their attacks, can, their attacks can, in fact, be dodged. Which is pretty cool. You don't get that very often. Oh yeah, I forgot. In this game, Ultralisks can burrow. Which is kind of cool. They couldn't do that in the first game, but now they can. I am the swarm. We are without limit. This world is mine. Our conquest continues. 
Ah, everyone pull back. We have a Ravasaur. Retribution will be mine. No time. Ah, get back, man. Your queen is under attack. The swarm conquers all. Ah, get back. Okay. It is time. We all good. Boldly. We adapt. Is there any more Ravasaurs here? There is. I am the swarm. But I cannot reach it. Just hiding in the hole together, basically. Make your peace. We are without limits. Our conquest continues. This world is mine. No time like the present. Ow. Alright. Yes. Retribution. Heal. The swarm conquers. Kill the Ravasaur. I am the swarm. Boldly. No time of the present. What is it that your queen listens? The swarm conquers. It is time. We adapt. Make your peace. Our conquest continues. I am the swarm. No time like the your queen listens. He 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 he. Boldly. Ah, it's a taste of or no, it's an art artolisop. Retribution. I don't know what an artolisop is. But I want to play with them in the map editor. Make your peace. The swarm conquers all. Our conquest continues. He he he. We adapt. Welcome to your demise. Not a tasty. <laughs> a tall sop instead of a tasted loaf. Hi, Steven. Man, these bosses are easier than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> this world is mine. It is time. Servan. The pack leaders are slain. The packs join your swarm. And here you stand. Complete. You are served. Your essence overflows with power. I... I thirst. You will feed my evolution. The first in millennia. I wonder when you will make your move. But to self, kill or be killed. You know this, of course. God, what a cool boss One fight! Be consumed and become something greater than either. This is the heritage of the Zerg. All right, time for the final boss fight against Zervan. Fight. Guy, I love the boss fight designs in this game, not gonna lie. In this expansion in particular, the boss fight the boss fight designs have been very stellar.
Yay, we did it. <laughs> That's a lot of meat. Zerus is mine. Isha, prepare the Leviathan. It's time the swarm returned to the Kapu sector. That's a lot of meat. Oh, I got an achievement. Nice. Yippee. We got all the bonuses My queen, I have been contacted by Kalisa, a brood mother. She has heard of your accomplishments and wishes to return her brood to the swarm. Her brood is small in number, but it has strong leviathans. Kalisa, hear me. The planet Mista 4 is a hub of Dominion military production. Take your brood there and destroy it. Do that, and you will earn your place within the swarm. It shall be as you say, my queen. Man. My queen, your transformation has altered your abilities. If you wish, you can review the changes within your chamber. Kerrigan can just play macro at RTS now by directing brood lords to conquer entire planets. Like she doesn't even have to micro anymore. She just macros planet wide scale. It is scale. a good sign that some of your brood mothers are returning to the fold. I wonder why they are willing to give up their independence. Perhaps not all of them wish to rule the swarm. And perhaps they know there is safety in numbers. This is my destiny. We will grow stronger here. Did you know the Ancient One would turn on me? Your essence. It called him. And you didn't try to warn me. He was Zerg. You are Zerg. <laughs> one dies and one grows strong. You know. I think I'm starting to understand you, Dahaka. <laughs> it's like you should have realized he would attack you, Kerrigan. <laughs> the powerful essence of the primal pack leaders has awakened a new column and many abilities. As new tiers of abilities continue to awaken, you will gain abilities in this third column as well. Okay, so we have a bunch of new abilities to look at. We are currently equipped with Kinetic Blast, and we do also have Heroic Fortitude, which increases our max HP, but now we also have Leaping Strike, which reduces our attack range, increases our attack, and allows us to jump. <laughs> the game- I don't know why the game performance is so bad on the screen, I really don't know. <laughs> And so we have Crushing Grip, we have Chain Reaction, but we also have Psionic Shift now, which allows us to dash through enemies very quickly. It also increases our movement speed. We have uh, Zergling Reconstitution, Improved Overlords, but we also have Automated Extractors now, which allows our extractors to harvest Vespine gas without drones. We have Wild Mutation, Spawn Banelings, but we also have Mend, which allows us to heal. Before we move on to the next tier of abilities, is there any abilities in the third column you find particularly attractive? Like, uh, jump, dash, uh, automated react uh, extractors, heal. You like the current column? You like the current set? Okay, we'll keep to it. Now we have a new tier of abilities. We have twin drones, which allows our drones to um, morph in groups of two at additional cost and require less supplies. So basically, drones will become like zerglings in that they can spawn in larger numbers. You can double your drone production, basically, with no additional cost. 
we have malignant creep which allows our units and structures to re to gain increased life regen and 30 percent increased attack speed on creep and creep tumors also spread creep faster and farther and we have vespine efficiency which allows our vespine gas harvesting to be increased by 25 percent so any preferences Double drones, stronger creep, or more vest. <laughs> Do you like drones? <laughs> okay. We'll go with the quantity then. We'll have faster drones, more drones. So many drones. Hi, Abathir. There is no other creature like you in the swarm. Where did your essence come from? The Overmind spun me from many species, a brood of one. What did you do after the Overmind died? Wandered the tunnels of Char without purpose. Pharaoh, Queen of Blades, found me, made me Zerg again. You aren't Zerg unless you're under someone's control. Without overriding will, am beast less. <laughs> <laughs> Abathur is the ultimate mid-level management guy. He, he he can't even function without having a boss. <laughs> he is the ideal employee, the best bureaucrat you can ask for. <laughs> Hydralisk strain ready for augmentation. Expeditionary brood discovered ancient Zerg essence in Dominion space. Brood under attack. Limited time. <laughs> he physically cannot exist if HR doesn't. <laughs> okay, so remember how in Brood Wars, Hydralis can mo morph into lurkers? We're about to get some. Let's check it out. One bad performance Planet review. Planet Nerf this. Five, <laughs> Swarm Hive Cluster under assault. <laughs> he needs approval so bad. Prometheus, the Dominion's infestation specialist. We need to move fast. Prometheus Company. Essence nearby. Overmind creation. Impaler colony. Slow attack. Incredible damage. Collect essence. Adapt hydralisks. Defeat Dominion. Impaler colony. So they're kind of like the sunken colonies, except they're slow and they're heavy. That one overlord it just Yeah, I don't know why the overlords sometimes do that. But yeah, these impaler colonies are very interesting. Very similar to sunken colonies, but very different. Examining sequence incomplete. Must kill remaining impaler colonies. I wouldn't want to be an overlord either. <laughs> I love how, like, nowadays, nowadays, in the second game, Hydralisks actually have melee attack animations where they actually use their sights, which is really cool. Like, the melee attack animations are actually pretty cool. It was always kind of funny that in the first game, they have, they can only do ranged attacks even when... Um, they're in melee range, but in this game they can in fact do melee attacks. Sequence acquired. Spinning impaler essence into hydralisk morph. Hydralisks now able to morph into impalers. Oh yeah, look at these guys. 
Impaler attacks while burrowed. Damages single target. Tears through armor. Move to the high ground and assault their barricade from above. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> Dominion barricade destroyed. That missile turret can detect our impalers while burrowed. Take it out first. Keep it together. I love it when the enemy units have lines to say, but you kill them before they can finish saying it, and they just and their line just gets interrupted. Like that's so, that's always such a good touch. In case you're wondering how high their attack damage is. Impalers do 20 damage with their piercing tentacles and barricades destroyed. Only Prometheus company base remains. And they do a, a, an additional 25 damage to armored units. And they must be burrowed to attack, much like a lurker, except unlike a lurker, they they only hit a single target, but they hit them really hard. So they're like specialist units essentially. Siege specialists. The Thors are suiciding for our sake. So we can actually see and attack the enemies. Because <laughs> when they're burrowed, they're in, their visual range is in... Their visibility is not as far as their attack range. Terran forces eliminated. Alternative Hydralisk morph possible. Surviving Lurker Dens discovered. Planet Caver, once birthing colony for Dagoth's brood. Oh, now, hey. Feral. Hey, Dagoth, we haven't heard that name in forever. We killed him so long ago. Well, yeah. Feral lurkers, survivors of interswarm conflict. I can control them, but I can't morph more. Key transformation sequence missing. Requires lurker den. Secure nearby den. Return essence to swarm control. Lurkers from the Brood Wars. 20 damage or 30 damage against light units. The lurker den isn't far. Move out. The feral zerg have sensed us. Burrow quickly. They have much smaller attack lurker range than the impalers. Against light enemies. But they kill light enemies very fast. War feral zerg. Burrow quickly and attack. Destination reached. Broodmother Kilisa inbound. Oh, to Kilisa. Essence. Overlords en route. I sense the feral zerg moving. They're attacking from the south. Defend the lurker den. Another wave incoming. Keep them off the lurker den. <laughs> Feral Zerg defeated. Brood Mother ready to extract essence. Must prepare sequences for Hydralisk Morph. Returning to Evolution Pit. 
Hydralisk morph ready for integration. Await decision. All right, so basically our choices are Impaler or Lurkers. Impalers being single target, single target, single target um, anti-armor specialist, and the lurker being an anti-infantry uh, specialist that deals with swarms of enemies. So as you can see, their roles are completely different. This time, it's not really a matter of quantity over quality, but rather deciding: do you want anti-armor or do you want anti-infantry? Which is quite an interesting choice, honestly. Because for once, the decision comes down to uh, how you want to plan your strategy. Do you have a preference? Impaler seems better value for money. <laughs> Let's go with Impaler then. <laughs> Evolution complete. Yeah, no, that's true actually. Now that you mention it, we do have a lot of anti anti swarm attackers like banelings and whatnot. But I don't really think yeah, like uh roaches, banelings, zerglings, hydralisks, swarm hosts, mutilists, all most of our units are anti swarm, but we have very few anti armor. <laughs> God, there's so many cool units. Anyways, um, we finished two planets today, and it's now midnight, so I think it's time we call it a day for tonight, and next time we'll explore more planets and kill more people for fun, just as the Zergs do. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Have a good night now, everyone. Bye-bye.